What's happening, Crypto Farm? Happy, happy Thursday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So, thank you. This morning, I want to go back a few weeks and talk about the XRPL and Ripple X's plans um, to help build out and develop NFTs. Now, it's worth noting NFTs are just a smart contract, they're just a token or a number of non-fungible tokens that are governed by metadata and a smart contract they can just be a picture or they can have function within the platform um get a lot of questions regarding ripple nfts and what's going on with them and where are they where's all the marketplaces and when's the xrp open c coming and whatnot um so first off it's worth noting that the xls Dash 20 standard for non fungible tokens and smart contracts on XRPL. Similar in a way, you could say that like Ethereum started with ERC20 issued currencies, then moved on to ER721 um, tokens, fun non fungible tokens. Now we've got the 1151, one, whatever it is, more complex smart contracts governing NFTs. So these links will be in the description. Um, like I say, it was a few weeks ago. I mean, it's only end of November. but still a few weeks ago. But RippleX has announced the launch of a fund to support the development of NFTs on the network. Ripple's on-demand liquidity corridor has posted an 130% growth over the past quarter. <coughs> and XRP Ledger runs through an xls20 standard that will seamlessly power a platform with nfg functionality so the global payments giant has revealed plans to get into nfts and boost the utility of the xrp ledger native tokens ripple ledger has features to power nft functionality on it ripple jumps on the nft wagon the xrp ledger is evolving into an nft platform proponents have noted that the xrp ledger has features that support NFT functionality. It was launched in 2012. And evolving to power NFTs is a key milestone. And the platform runs on XLS-20. A standard that will power seamless functionality for the standard is for the NFTs. The standard, this is what I'm getting at now today in the video, the standard is yet to be received by community's approval. Once approved, RippleX will support the development on its network. Actually seen and uh, oh, we, we've officially approved it. I mean, keep your eye on David Schwartz and Beatsvin and everyone else who's Twitter and RippleX and Ripple and I'm sure that eventually someone's going to be like, right, we've agreed on that standard. It's being implemented. Let's flaming go. And it might have already been implemented. I've been looking this morning, couldn't really find much. Um, and again, I'm, I'm on a couple of articles that I've found. Um, so the payments giant will mark, will partner with Mintable Project. We already know they've purchased they, they, they put, um, massive investment into Mintable, which would suggest that NFT, uh, LNFTs will be available on Mintable very soon. Um, I'll actually be ridiculously surprised if Ripple have invested in Mintable and XRPL NFTs don't end up on. So Mintable's a digital item marketplace, powered NFTs, Ripple's on-demand corridor, blah, blah. I mean, I, we shouldn't read them because you double read yourself. So apologies for reading the fucking key points because I'm just going to keep repeating it. Ripple's corridor between Japan and driving adoption, the volume, blah, we don't really care about that. Ethereum's high transaction fees have negatively impacted NFT developers and users on the network. Transaction fees on XRP Ledger are expected to be much lower than Ethereum, fueling higher adoption of NFTs. Proponents consider XRP price. I mean, in, in other, on other platforms, really, you've seen that the likes of Solana and stuff just take off because it's not quite as expensive. As it is to do it on Ethereum. Ethereum is legitimately full. I don't care what anyone says. Tax evaders all over the gaff in Ethereum. Or on Ethereum, should we say. 
So again, a few weeks ago, XRP Ledger moves into non-fungible tokens. And we did cover this at the time. Like I say, I'm just getting questions about it, what's happening with it and stuff. So I want people to know where to chase and the kind of terms that we're using for. So we're basically, we're basically just looking for Ripple X and Ripple and XRPL to implement the standard. So even long mentions it so let's go down this the non-fungible token sector has been making notable gains in recent months attracting more networks to launch nft offerings one of the latest networks that are coming to the nft sector is the xrp ledger the general manager of ripple x monica long gave several reasons why xrp ledger was a perfect fit for the nft sector and why it was launching offerings into this sector XRP Ledger evolves into an NFT platform. Speaking at the Thinking Crypto podcast with Tony Edward, long talked about the venture of XRP Ledger into the NFT sector. She stated that XRP Ledger was a blockchain network that had the technical capabilities of supporting NFTs. Ripple's XRPL has been making notable contributions to the crypto sector, including the issuance of different tokens. A platform was founded in 2012 and is only now that it's looking to evolve into the top tier NFT platform. Worth noting um, that Ripple did in the past have plans for Codius um, to be to be a multi-platform platform where you can build for almost any other platform through smart contracts and whatnot. Not really sure what happened with Codius. Flare and that seemed to come out of nowhere. Um, Ether took off with, with the way it was doing smarter contracts and NFT. So not really out sure what happened with Codius. But we know the standard is uh, is coming. Long mentioned some of the features that make XRPL suited to support NFC functionality. While Ethereum functions through the ERC721 and ERC1155 standard, as said before, XRPL runs through an XLS dash 20 standard that will empower the platform with seamless functionality for nfts the xls 20 standard is currently in the referendum phase and if it's approved by the community it will go it will soon go live on the devnet xrpl invests in a dedicated fund xrpl has already made major efforts in to boost its nft developers such as ripple x has announced the launch of a dedicated fund that will support development of nfts on the network long has also provided insight into latest statistics we don't care about fucking statistics fuck off interesting interesting we can search XRP, XLS20. I shared the GitHubs the other day. Fungible token support. We literally, as far as I can see, waiting for approval of the standard. And from the standard getting approved, we'll then see developers running with it. I, I have no doubts that early next year on. Um, Sometime in mid next year, excuse me, we're going to see a lot of developers pushing XRP NFT marketplaces out. It's going to be extremely interesting. Um, extremely interesting. I don't... I don't want to start saying Ethereum killer and shit. Killer, like the oh, Ethereum killer. But fuck me, massive, massive Ethereum competitors. If you can come up and do NFTs exactly how Ethereum are doing them with the same kind of rarity traits and the same kind of functionality within your platform that they offer in their platform, but the difference is you're offering a minute fee compared to them. And pretty a, a rapid rapid transaction speeds i don't want to say it's going to kill ethereum but how does ethereum put keep up with them how how does ethereum keep up with ada with polka dot with solana with xrp with the rest that are all cheaper and faster than it how 
it's like the one that shit is being pumped by mainstream media because they all got in extremely early and they try to milk it for as long as they can. Make no mistake, they're going in the others as well. But they, it seems to try to milk Ethereum for as long as they possibly can because I'm sorry, but layer two, fucking 2.0, needs to drop fees fast. I can't, I've, I've got ERC20 tokens, I can't even move me. I'm not that I can't move them. I'm not paying the fucking fee it costs to move it. I'm not paying 50 quid to move 50 quid. You can fuck off. You can fuck off, mate. I'm not paying a wanna to move a wanna. I'm not paying fucking 180 quid to swap fucking 200 quid worth of backs to Ethereum. Do you know what I mean? I've not got the gas to sell ERC20 tokens into Ethereum to get more gas. I can't even gas to get fucking gas. It's too much. <laughs> like real talk how the fucking hell did you expect people at the bottom to, to, to use that platform you're having a fucking laugh mate wind it in so cheaper fees legitimately extreme extreme competitors right to the point where it's gonna be like watching a fucking 11 year old trying to keep up with you saying bolt it's just gonna be like get him off the fucking track like could someone get that bastard off the track? He's embarrassing himself. He's fucking get him the fuck off. And it's the like, just get off Ether. Like, who, why the fuck would be using Ether in 2030, mate? Jesus fucking Christ. And again, that could seem like a ridiculous statement in 2030 because Ether could be rapid and cheap by then. We don't know what kind of extra layers and extra fucking things they're going to put on it. But something's got to be done. They've been crying layer two for two fucking years now. And I still can barely afford to move E for me. It's a fucking joke. Like. <laughs> and it's not that I've not got the money to move it. Like I say, not that I've not got the money to move it. I'm, I, I fucking refuse. I begrudge to fucking spend them fees. You can fuck off. I'd rather die on my deathbed looking at me as he's 20 tokens and I wish I'd have been able to move them. Fucking <laughs> <coughs> I'm not fucking paying the fees. <laughs> and on that note... Invest in it. The internet of value. The cheap, good, fast, efficient, productive platforms that give you rewards back. Invest in it. Invest in yourself. Live long and all it all. Never let it go. Get it staked. Get it baked. Like I said, on your deathbed, looking at them all. As long as you've had an happy life, you lived off your rewards, and you're passing a beautiful legacy pot to your family as you go. That is a win, me, And a fucking big one. So, if you get to that point... Pack yourself on the back. Well done. I can't wait. I can't wait. We love Ripple. We love crypto. We love XRP. We love the XLS 20D standard. And we love you. So take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you on the next one. Wishing off and happiness to you and yours.